Hey, welcome back guys to the beginner series on PHP brought to you by thetutelage.com. So as I said, today we would be taking care of the associated arrays plus I'm going to teach you guys a very handy uh, PHP extract function. You can also find the extract function uh, in the php.net manuals under this particular page. You can read more about it, but today I would be covering very basic because uh, the series is all about uh, for beginners. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment this particular uh, two lines and then we're going to move forward and we would be writing our associated arrays. So here I'm going to say dollar data. I'm just creating a variable and I'm going to make it equal to an array. Okay. And I'm going to pull it down here. I'm going to end it with a semicolon because our statement would be ending out here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say first name is equal to John. Okay. Then I have last name that would be equal to Walsh. And the next one would be, let's say, email. And that would be equal to Sean at the rate Walsh.com or whatever. So what I'm doing out here is I'm creating an array and I'm putting the entire value to this particular variable called data. Guys, if you will notice the one difference between these associative and the simple arrays is here we are providing the values to our arrays so out here I have wrote some random names and these names does not have any value but out here this first name do have a value okay that's equal to John the second name has a different value that is equal to watch and your email has a different value that's John at the right watch.com so we are actually providing the values to our um, name or last name and our email so that is uh, all about the associative arrays and getting the values out of these um, out of this array is quite simple what I'm gonna say is dollar data and inside these two square brackets I'm gonna pass the very first parameter that would be first name that's all when you guys come back refresh it Okay, it does not say anything because you will have to echo it out. So I'm going to say echo. And here it says John. So the first name is equal to John. If I will change it to something else, say Kate, you, will, uh, you guys will see out here Kate. So we're going to make it back to John. This is how we can actually get the values from our associative arrays. Next, I was talking about the, the extract function extract function is quite simple simple I would say and uh, it can make things really easy for you so I'm gonna say extract very simple the name of the function and which variable you want to extract so I say I want to extract the variable dollar data so what it's going to do for like I'm, I'm really sorry excuse me what it's uh, going oh my gosh what it's going to do for us is actually convert these simple <clears throat> parameters into or I would say these key into the variables so right now this first name have turned into a variable called dollar first name so I'm gonna say echo dollar first name and it's gonna give me the same result here's this John so extract can make things really easy and really simple for you. What it's doing is uh, it's converting your keys into the variables. So now the first name, you can access the first name with dollar first name, last name with dollar last name. Okay, so extract is quite simple. If you want, you can learn more about it on this particular page. But this is something I'm going to cover today. In the next video, we will learn more about the multidimensional arrays. So till that time, goodbye.